Okay guys, it's Wednesday. Cole and I are at the park. Not too far from the house. I got a little addition. I got me a new bike, guys. Got this from Walmart. I didn't even see the name of it. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. But that's that's my bike. It's a mountain bike. Had pretty good shifters and pretty good gears, everything on it. You know, looks pretty good. I rode it once. Uh, as soon as I brought it home from the, from Walmart, I bought it after work. I happened to go be in Walmart and was over in the sporting section, and I saw it. And um, the price was pretty good, so I'm like, you know, for that price and that bike, I'm like, I'm gonna get it. I like bikes that are big like this. You know, get me way up off the ground. I got visibility and I'm visible. Really nice. It's got a gold chain on it. It's pretty cool. Got gears. Everything. I'm, I, I can't do a full review right now because I got to get ready to go to work. It's like I got cold here for a walk. I just thought I'd show you guys this thing. I'm taking it with me everywhere I go. It's on the back of my bike. It's part of my preps. If my car breaks down or I'm standing at work and whatever, AMP, whatever happens and my vehicle won't run, I can take that off and uh, go where I got to go. Put my backpack on my back, you know, with my supplies and everything. And I got a mode of transportation, you know, that's much faster than walking. So there's that. And, uh, but anyway, back to our walking for the day. It's real sunny out here. It's nice. It's supposed to get up to 60 degrees today. Feels like it's about 50. You know, high 50s. You know, I'm not probably quite 60 yet, but it feels like it's in its 50s. But it's nice. Very gentle breeze, not much at all. Still got a few leaves on the trees. Some trees got them, some trees don't. But it's nice. Really nice today. No way I was going to miss. I let Cole go for a walk today. I got up early so that I could uh, do some work on my shed. I got a bunch of stuff in my shed, man. You wouldn't believe. You know, there's a fine line between being a prepper and being a hoarder. And uh, I'm walking that line very precariously. You know, the wind blows the wrong way. I could fall into the... Uh, onto the uh, hoarder side of that line really easy. All it takes is a breeze, you know, so I, I gotta be careful. I gotta start throwing some stuff away and, uh, you know, keeping the stuff that I'm, that's, that's relevant and getting rid of the stuff that's not. So that's what I did today. I went through my shit, started organizing some things. I gotta start organizing some stuff in my storage unit as well, which I will be doing. And I'll be working on the trailer again. Uh, we have the option of working the holiday weekend or not. I was surprised at the amount of people that signed up for it. Considering we're working six days mandatory. Uh, seven days sometimes, you know, voluntary, sometimes mandatory. Uh, what the hell did I do? I missed my trail? Came in on the wrong trail, wrong path or something? I don't know. This don't feel like the right trail. No, it doesn't feel right at all. I think it's further back this way. Following cold. But anyway. There it is. I don't know how I managed to miss the opening. But I did probably, no, that's not it. Oh, you got me all screwed up. Good thing there's no uh, leaves on the trees and everything. Most of the stuff is falling off. Um, or I'd be messed up. But the thing is, I wouldn't have no problem finding the trail. Is that what the case? Okay, I'm all screwed up, guys. We're just going to play this back. 
<sighs> I'll just walk through until I hit the trail at some point. I have no idea where it's at. But anyway, it's going to be a noisy walk. But anyway, we're making our way through here. And, uh, oh, I was surprised that so many people signed up to work over the weekend, the holiday weekend, which I opted to take off. You know, now they may turn around and make it mandatory or something. Or they may decide, since I'm driving the high low, I have to work that weekend, you know, because there's only two of us on the high low. And if one guy's already got that off, then the other guy, you know, by default, has to work. Where the hell is that damn trail? But anyway, we'll see what happens. But, uh, like I was saying about the hoarding, you know, when you're a gadget freak like me, you tend to buy the newest and latest thing. Oh, this is treacherous here. I'm not going that way. And uh, over the years, especially when you get to be my age, you start to accumulate stuff. You know, in everything you buy, there's an emotional uh, situation that goes along with it. And uh, you tend to hold on to stuff for sentimental reasons and uh, you just can't seem to get rid of it and things accumulate one after another even though you go through this stuff trying to find trying to throw stuff away you keep putting it back on the side you know I guess I'll I'll need this later I'll I'll uh, use it for something else or sometime at some point I'll need it you know you're kidding yourself you gotta have discipline to throw that stuff away. I'm gonna throw a lot of stuff away. How can I get lost on a trail I come in on every damn day damn near? How can I find that damn trail? Oh well. But anyway, I'm headed back to the truck. Oh, you got me that time, buddy. You got me. But anyway, I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff. Organize my life. Organize my, you know, preps and everything. As I was going through my stuff, I'm seeing stuff that I need that I would have had to dig out if I had to bug out quick. That wouldn't have even been good, you know. Uh, as you can see, I just bought my, my new bike or whatever. I'm gonna put it through the paces. It rides a lot better than the bike I had. I got, you know, had before, which I still have, which is it's going to be hard, even though I got a really nice new bike that totally replaces the other one by leaps and bounds, it's going to be hard to throw the other one away. I'm going to see if I find some homeless person or somebody that I can give it to that needs a bike to ride, you know, because it still rides good, still a good bike, and, uh, I don't want it to sit out on the curb. Maybe anybody to get. I want somebody that really needs it to get it. <laughs> so I'm never gonna find the path out of here, so I'm gonna just go this way. Try to figure out where I screwed up. Okay, we came through here. I gotta know where that trail is. If it's right there, I'm gonna feel really stupid because there's a a big sign post right there that would be a landmark where I would know where the trail is but we'll see I think that was it right there yep that's the trail right there there's a big land, uh, landmark right there and there the trail is right there how I messed up that um, I must have walked right past it well you see all these leaves blown up through here the um, the uh, groundskeepers blew all those leaves off to the field there and off to the side, all over to the side over there. So it all looks the same just looking through here. So that's how I that's how I made the mistake. But I shouldn't have with a, a big landmark like that right there. But uh, it happens. But I'm headed back to the truck now.
But uh, like I say, I'm gonna give that bike away to somebody that needs it and can appreciate it. I'll find some homeless person. Chances are they'll probably take it and give it away for a, a case of beer or something. But it's not what they do, it's what you do. You know, if they wanna get beer with the, you know, what you give them or whatever, money you give them or whatever, that's on them, you know. It's on you to offer the helping hand to give them something, to give them a little couple of dollars to do what they're gonna do. If they're gonna buy drugs with it, that's their choice. You know, it's your choice whether or not to give it to them. You know, it's not your place to, to judge what they're gonna do with the money you give them or the whatever gift you give them or whatever. Just just be the one to give it to them. Just do it, you know, because, uh, you know, somebody may help you out one day and somebody may not. You may not ever get any help from anybody any way, any shape or form, but still, what kind of person are you, you know? give anyway do what you can to help people out don't be a, a doormat and get used by people because there are people out there like that that will do that you can't do that but uh you know when you can do what you can but anyway that's it getting back to the truck we gotta get cold back to the house i gotta get ready to go to work and uh hopefully we got a nice day to, tomorrow maybe i'll try my bike out I like to take it around the uh, Metro Park. I'm about to leave Cole at home though because he doesn't know how to walk at a hill beside me while I'm on my bike. And uh, I can't control him riding my bike at the same time. So he's gonna be at home. But anyway, that's the next option. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.